Duck, Duck, Moose by Dave Horowitz. Welcome to Storytime with Miss Suzanne. Let's start a reading adventure together. Duck, Duck, Moose by Dave Horowitz. A story about migration. <gasps> Look at all the street signs. There's so many ducks and, oh my, squiggly lines and cars and bears and moose and trucks and oh my. Let's start our story. One day in the great north woods. Sure is getting cold, said Duck. I'm freezing, said other Duck. Just the way I like it, said Moose. Maybe they're freezing because they're in the water and it's fall. You guys want to go get some pancakes? Said Moose. No can do, said Duck. We're going south for the winter, said Other Duck. Oh, that's why they can't go get pancakes. But pancakes do sound yummy. You should come with us, said Duck. You may just like it, said Other Duck. No way, said Moose. I like it right here. Bear will get pancakes with me. <gasps> there he goes to Bear's cave. I even see a sign that says to go to the left or right. Hmm. Ooh, Moose arrived at the Bear's cave. It says, Bear Cave, do not disturb till spring. Signed, Bear. <gasps> hmm, that's not what Moose was expecting to find. But Bear was already hibernating. You've got to be kidding me, said Moose. I guess I'll have to go and get pancakes myself. <gasps> oh, and there's the ducks. They're still packing their car. They're getting ready to go to migrate. I wonder what migrate means. Let's find out. But the pancake hut was closed until spring. <gasps> this was going to be one long, lonely winter, thought Moose. Unless... I wonder what Moose is thinking. I wonder what unless means. Hmm. There's the pancake hut. Their sign says closed for the season. So I guess in the fall, they close for the winter and won't open until spring. You guys still have room for me? Moose is going to go with the ducks. Look at that. And away they went. Oh, look at the road signs. Look at that. There's four different road signs there. Cool. Let's find out where they're going. <gasps> Look, they're going to New York. Hey, said Duck. I see New York City. Hey, said Other Duck. I see Washington, D.C. Oh, cool. They're going very far. Hey, said Moose. I've got to pee. Oh, look. Now they're going through Pennsylvania. How far are these guys going? Wow. Oh, wait a minute. On their car, on the back, it says Florida or bust. Maybe they're going to Florida. Somewhere in Georgia, the friends got stuck in a traffic jam. Wow, there's a lot of cars. Row, 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 your boat, sang Duck. Can't run down the stream, sang Other Duck. Oh, brother, said Moose. I think they're going to still keep going. At last, they arrive. Oh, it says, welcome to Florida. Speed limit 55. Oh, there's a pancake palace. Mm -mm, next exit. That turtle is shaking his little uh, arm saying, slow down. Welcome to Florida, said Duck. Watch out for the alligators, said Other Duck. Pancakes, said Moose. Can we stop for pancakes? Watch. Oh, it actually says a sign. Watch for alligators. You pick. Yard sale. Oh, beaches. Bananas. Wow, look at that. And more road signs. But the first stop was the beach. Look, said Duck, a shell. Look, said Other Duck, a starfish. Look, said Moose, a sea monster. <laughs> They're having a lot of fun at the beach. Ooh, next stop was Larry's you pick. Have a hoop, pick a fruit. Eight cents a pound, which is pretty cheap. Look at that. I picked an orange, said Duck. I picked a grapefruit, said Other Duck. I picked me, said Moose. Oh, I think he has his finger in his nose. Ew, that's not what you're supposed to be picking, Moose. Ah. And the fun went on. Oh, look, they went snorkeling. They went bird watching. Did they watch a rocket ship? Oh, they're a little close to the rocket ship. 
and on and on. They went fishing at a golf course. And somebody's yelling at them to get off the lawn. <gasps> oh, I think they are rowing where there's alligators. It says no swimming. That's probably a good idea. And, oh, they got to watch the sunset on the beach. I would definitely do that. Just not rowing with the alligators. Until one day. These are the best pancakes I've ever had, said Goose. What do you guys want to do next? Well, said Duck, the winter is over. It's time to go home now, said the other duck. No, cried Moose. I don't want to go home yet. Oh, brother. Even though it's fun to go on an adventure, you always have to come back home. But Moose doesn't look too happy about that at all. But there they go. They're driving, leaving Florida, going through Georgia, South Carolina. It looks like Alabama they might have went through. Wow, they're going real far. Now they're back home. Sure, it's good to be back, said Duck. It's getting kind of warm, said other Duck. Just the way I like it, said Moose. The end. Oh, look, Moose now is wearing a different shirt. This says, I heart Florida. He made a sign. M Moose is you pick, and he tied some apples and oranges in the tree. He has his beach ball and his beach blanket, and he even has a sign, alligator welcome. You might want to change that sign, though, don't you think? I don't think I'd be welcoming Ellen any alligators to my house. This book was written for Justin and Taylor. And the author's note, all characters and events in this book are fictional. That means they're not real. Any resemblance to the family road trips the author was forced to go on as a child is purely coincidental. Especially page 17. <laughs> and look, Bear got a t-shirt. He says, my friends went to Florida and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. <laughs> That's hilarious. The ducks and moose had quite a long road trip to get from where it was fall all the way to where it was still summer. Because ducks don't really like to get cold. They can't put on jackets like we do. They can't put on boots like we do. So they go somewhere where they can stay warm without all the gear that we wear. It's a very smart thing to do. But do you really think they drive a car to get there? No, they fly to get there. That's right. Lots of animals hibernate, which means sleep through the winter, or migrate, which means to go away for the winter. It's very interesting stuff. Make sure you look up your favorite animal and see what it does in the winter. Thank you for joining me, my friends, today as we read Duck, Duck, Moose by David Horowitz. Please make sure you like and subscribe so that you can get our next book. Thank you for joining me and have a fantastic day. See you next time, my friends.